Hello, my name is Thomas Powell, and in under 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to manage your entire high school program using Blast Athletics. When you first sign into Blast Athletics, you land on your dashboard. Now, you're looking at a mobile simulator right now, meaning the app or the mobile website, but Blast also works on the desktop. Now, dashboard is key for navigation and functionality, so if you ever need to get back to the dashboard, just click the dash button. To the right of the dashboard, you have schedule, messages, finances, and search. Now, the post button is very crucial for all team admins and um, parents and athletes alike. Clicking post, for the admins, you can enter your game schedule, practices, events, request payments, and manage your team finances, as well as send messages, post videos and photos live from games and events, um, update the score, and make payments. So we're going to set this up from the team page. So I'm going to come down here and look in my teams and click on a team I want to set up. So right when I get here, I can upload my cover photo. I can change the logo. A team page enca encapsulates everything on Blast. So you have your schedule, your roster, coaches' bios, photos, videos, stats, fundraiser, contact info, and you can easily get to the school network and to the other level. Now on the roster page, you do not have to upload or enter any of the athletes onto the roster. When they join, it'll automatically populate. First thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to the admin button and you will see that a lot of the same functionality in the post is in here. We're going to now enter our practice schedule. So I can enter a single practice or recurring. Since this is a high school program, we have games on Tuesdays and, Wednesdays and Thursdays, let's say, so we'll enter practices on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, we'll have them run through the next couple months and practices right after school, so we'll go two to four, title is daily practice, description, and lo location, school, field, we'll go lower field because this is JV. Now I can also copy all of this practice schedule to the varsity, so as you can see all this information carried over. Um, I can come down here, I can change the field because let's say this is the main field. And boom, I just created all of the practices for the whole year. Now, we know there's holidays, we know there's early days and stuff, so we can come here and click this recurrence, and we can edit it, and I can now cancel reschedule single practice. So let's say that this Monday right here is a holiday, we'll go ahead and cancel it, send notification, ah, I don't think everyone needs to know, and save. So I can reschedule or cancel really easily, and now my practice schedule is all up to date. Let's go back to the team page and create some games. So now I'll go to a new game. We'll go ahead and we'll find our opponent. There they are. Okay, JV game. Let's say it's today at 4 p.m. Non-league, refreshments, notes, streaming URL. This is big because a lot of teams are streaming this year and it's difficult to find the streams. So Blast does not offer a streaming product, but we do work with all the streaming carriers. All you, so have, all you have to do is enter in that URL, and we will send it out on um, game reminders. It'll be on weekly updates to your sponsors. It'll also be on all of your calendars within Blast. So I can also now come here, and I can create a game for Varsity, and let's say their game is at 6 p.m., and same streaming link or change it. Uh, easy peasy. I just created the Varsity and the JV games. I could add another game. So it should take you about 15 minutes to create all of your practices and all of your games on Blast for the whole season. So next thing we're going to do on Blast, we've created the games and practices. We're going to set the fundraiser up. Now, I've already created it. All you're going to do is click one click and put who your rep is. But the most important part of this is that as soon as you've created it and as soon as you have entered in um, how many contacts you want each athlete to do or enter, then as soon as they log in, they're able to quickly click the yellow invite sponsors button and start entering their contacts. So you created the teams, we just put the schedule in, we've created the fundraiser. Now when people join, they can enter their contacts, which is the hardest part of the fundraiser. So the next thing we're gonna go over is collecting payments online. So Blast does allow you to send payment requests to athletes. So I can go request payment, uh, whatever you're requesting money for. And I can apply to athletes as they join. And then mount $100. And I can select all. 
and basically I just sent a payment request to every team member and as team members join they will also then be uh, requested to make that payment. So Blast monitors and manages all of your payments. If they do give you cash or a check at a game, you can easily enter it in here from your mobile device. It'll send a receipt immediately and update everybody. So even if you don't use Blast to collect the money um, online, which obviously is through credit cards or bank, you can also um, you know, have them send it to Venmo or give you cash or checks and just manage everything on Blast. So now we go back to the team page and we want to go to invite team. So if I click invite team, you know, there's multiple ways you can do it. Uh, anybody can just go to blastathletics.com or download the app and register for an account. And it'll walk them through joining your team. Super easy. Most of our programs will send out these direct join links so that you can, you can um, you know, click it, follow the steps. You can't me mess up at all and then have them download the app afterwards. Um, you can upload a CSV on the desktop version or you can enter in email addresses individually here. Inside here there's templates with explainer videos if you want to send it to the parents. So once you start onboarding your parents, they are then going to um, create accounts and you're going to get notified. So like here Garrett is trying to join this team, so I'm going to click this. And now Garrett's a parent, muted or unmuted. Muted meaning they can't post videos or photos to anything public facing. Uh, unmuted means they can do all that in real time. Uh, they've asked to connect with Tommy Billington, which seems like it's their son, and um, I can make them admin if I want to. So individual admin, authority, communication, financial, content, roster, or I can uh, make them a primary admin. So I'm going to go ahead and not make them admin, and then I'm going to approve it. So now that he's approved on the site, you know, he's going to be here on the roster. So there he is. So as people join your page, your roster will automatically populate. Um, now that we have people joining our site, I can click admin, new message, and I can send a message to anybody on the team. So I can send an individual message to Tommy. You can see the cell phone means that cell phone's verified. Um, the parent's name will come next to the kid's name under the parent section. So in case you don't are familiar with the parents, it's really easy to identify who they are. It goes out as a text, app, and email. You can upload forms, files, photos, make this a bulletin, meaning make it public, create polls, um, ask for confirmation requests, and most importantly, you can disallow people to reply to your messages. This is huge because you get 10, 15 people every message saying, thanks, thumbs up, your phone buzzes, when it really shouldn't. So you send a message out, they get it, they um, are then not able to message people back and everybody's phone does not buzz. So going back to the dashboard, you know, now that we have stuff, here's the games. So let's say I want to go to this game page here and I want to post some videos or photos of the game. I can update the score. It looks like it's over because it started at four, so I can write a recap. Here's the streaming link. So each game has its own page. And we encourage parents and team members to post coverage to the game page because that's how it gets out to the sponsors. Now, the dashboard, again, is a very crucial part of everybody's experience, especially your parents because they can just log in and they can see what's today, they can see what's upcoming, they can go to their team pages, again, the Invite Sponsors button. Um, if they do want to sync their calendar with their, with their phone or their desktop computer, they can come into the schedule and sync it via iCal and it'll automatically update so they don't have to log in to Blast to see what's going on. Um, so it's very simple, very, very streamlined. And again, you're gonna live on your dashboard. So, Thank you for your time. Hopefully you get through this and you can see how easy it is using Blast Athletics to manage your entire program.